Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I want to thank you for coming to this video where I'm going to answer a really important question for you if you're interested in turning your CNC machine into a business where you start generating revenue, making money. It doesn't matter if it's a CNC router, laser, plasma cutter, 3D printer, glass etcher, CNC machine, anything, you can make money off of it. However, if you are just in the beginning trying to figure out how to do this, then I want to give you a pointer based on a question that somebody had asked in a previous video that I've done called three strategies that you can start using right now to start turning your CNC into a business. I'll put a flag for that video right up here and at the end of this video there will be a link to it. If you're just getting into this or just exploring it, that video is probably the most important video that you'll ever watch. Okay, so I had a question on that video from a guy named Roger. And he said, how many parts should I make up front to try to sell, either on Facebook, Etsy, or what have you? You only want to make one part. And the reason is, you want to see what the market's response is. You don't want to overburden yourself with a lot of stuff that may just go nowhere. I actually made that mistake, kind of, sort of, over last Christmas. I did a rush job to have a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments made, Jeep Christmas ornaments. And I got them just after Thanksgiving and pushed them out onto Etsy and onto another YouTube channel and uh, on my Facebook page. And they really didn't move so well. And one of the reasons they didn't move was because I didn't use a good strategy. I wasn't focused in enough on one way to market these things. But the other thing was I didn't measure the market's desire first. So I spent, about $170 making 200 of these and several hundred of these little refrigerator magnets. Now, I've sold some, but I haven't sold a lot. And the thing is, I have $170 invested into it. So I have to re-strategize and see if the market wants it. Even though I think it's going to sell or you think it's going to sell, doesn't mean it's going to sell. That's why you want to keep your startup very low, see what the market says, and then you'll work it out from there. So the point of this whole video is don't overburden yourself with product that you don't even know if the market wants or not. Go watch that video that talks about three strategies that you can start with to start earning money with your CNC machine. And that'll explain how to get started. If this video is helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I would love to see a comment down below. And if you wanna know more about CNC entrepreneurialism, you can subscribe to this channel. Or if you're brand new to CNC machines all around, I talk about that too. Hey, this is Garrett, and I hope this was helpful to you and have a great day.